All right, hey, I'm Nick Skoronsky from the U.S. Forest Service. I'm Mike Gallagher, also from the Forest Service. We're just uh, we're here at the Franklin Parker Preserve in South Jersey. Uh, we're wrapping up a research burn today. Um, the, the purpose of this burn was to, to look at embers and how they, they affect fire spread. So this fire was uh, 50 acres. Um, it was uh, <coughs> instrumented um, with fire trackers that measure fire spread and uh, elements of fire intensity. Uh, and those correspond with fuel measurements um, and put together with the ember se uh, uh, sensors uh, monitor how the fire behavior impacted the ember production during the fire. So this burn is a, a part of a larger study looking at general fire behavior <clears throat> which will then in turn work with the New Jersey Forest Fire Service and other land management agencies and help them to better manage fire on the landscape. Tom. Hey Mike, how's it going? Hey, very good. Hey there, um, we're collecting firebrands here in these little cans. We have uh, eight stacks of 15 cans along in the black uh, and we look at the distribution of firebrands within these plots, analyze them for size uh, and then we have two apparatuses out there uh, inside that have IR cameras as well to uh, look at the temperature and we want to determine what a typical firebrand flux is from a specific fire in a specific ecosystem with and link it to the fire behavior that we had at the time. The camera? Yeah, like this is a little camera looking into the can. Uh, it's time stamped so we know exactly what the uh, what the time of arrival of the firebrands is and we link that to the uh, location of the of the fire line so what do we have in the cans well this one is a good one yeah there's a bunch a bunch of particles in there in these pine lands we see mostly bark but also some some pine needles and uh, some branches so depending on where they are now is that special paint inside the cans? No, so uh, this is just white paint because we take the water out and we dry it and then we take a picture from the inside of the can to do image analysis on the particles so we don't have to physically measure them. We do take them out and weigh them so we also have a mass component of the firebrands. But yes. And how about the device behind you? In this the container. A, this is a camera uh, to just observe what is happening around here. Uh, it's in a fireproof casing. We have uh, 16 of these spread out here and in the fire. And that is mainly for just observation. Okay. And where are you guys from? Uh, Scotland, University of Edinburgh. And Same. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Right. Good job. Thank you. Cheers. She'll be here for a little bit.
my name is Dr. Rory Haddon from the University of Edinburgh in Scotland and uh, we've been here uh, analysing this fire uh, that just passed through right here. And you can see uh, that the forest is quite different from what you might normally expect around here. Uh, the litter has all, has all charred and, and is, is gone basically. Uh, you can see most of the shrubs that we would normally expect to see in this kind of, in this kind of forest are mostly gone. And the trees, you can see they're charred up to quite a high height, uh, several feet above the ground. And most of the needles and, and small branches from low down are, are missing. So they've all been consumed by the fire, and uh, they've all contributed to the fire spread and, and the intensity uh, of the really fire. Well. Uh, excellent, excellent. Then yeah. we're going to move across the road, where the fire crossed the road, and we saw some instrumentation earlier where these gentlemen were collecting embers to see how embers spread as part of their study. I'm going to come over to, um, to Mike and to Nick, who were talking earlier, and tell us a little bit about what we're seeing in terms of fuels on this side of the road versus the side of the road we were just on. Right, so the fire on the other side of the road came out with the wind, so basically a head fire, so really high intensity. And on this side of the road, you can see the difference in the fuels that remain. So we had a, uh, a prescribed burn over here uh, a little less than two weeks ago, and I actually lit this road, but it, it backed slowly into the forest, and so you can see there's much lower char heights on the trees. There's still a bit more uh, left in the shrub layer. Um, and, and more green in the canopy there. And so <coughs> that fire just crept real slowly through there and it consumed the, the fuel at the forest floor um, a little differently than that would have. Um, so you get a different, different effect, different rate of spread. Excellent, excellent. So we can see some of the equipment here that the guys are gonna be um, using to finish up collection of their data. And uh, I think uh, from New Jersey Forest Fire Service, uh, we want to thank the folks from Scotland, U.S. Forest Service. This is some great work going on, some work that's going to lead to some real practical knowledge for us as an agency to use in managing fire, protecting residents, understanding how fire behaves. Um, so we'll be looking forward to those results. This is uh, study is going to go on for There's another two years of this. Okay, great. And, and you'll be back again next year. We'll be back again next year, absolutely. Excellent. Thanks, guys.